Greetings Multiverse, we're back with the trailer for the latest DC animated movie and it's a big one, The Death of Superman. The first part of a two-part story, much like The Dark Knight Returns was. This part is The Death of Superman and later on this year it's going to be Return of Superman. And I am sort of excited, it's a really big story, but they kind of already done it before in Superman Doomsday, which was actually the first original DC animated movie of the current range after they finished off all the other stuff, um, like Justice League and the stuff that people actually liked. They got into these <laughs> DC animated movies and Superman Doomsday was a very, very brief, loose adaptation of the Death and Return of Superman. This one will be a lot more faithful to the comic book, The Death of Superman, and of course, Return of Superman later, which of course I think is still the best-selling graphic novel or comic book of all time. Uh, forget all that. <sighs> Let's watch the new trailer for The Death of Superman. Go! <laughs> Sequences of violence and action including some bloody images. Hold on, Lex. Awesome. Nope, it's a big rock. I got the alert. What's up? Initial reports are Wonder Woman! Wow, she hasn't actually been in the comic. Uh well she wasn't in the original comic anyway. Not until Superman died. This killing everyone. I like him in that suit. That Anne wasn't either. <laughs> oh, this is this is the actual DC animated Justice League. The new fifty two ones. Aquaman from Front of Atlantis. It's a bully. Can't let me do that with Superman. Wow, Wonder Woman with her hair down. And having an ass kick. Ta That's a pretty terrifying doomsday. It's New 52 Superman. Okay, cool. I don't know where you came from, but I'm sending you back. Whoa. Oh, I love that series. I have to get back to work. This city needs me. Bash! Oh! I love the glass shattering bit. That's one of the most iconic bits in the comic. Save me a lot of trouble. Ha! We're getting a date? We're getting a date? Ugh. Now that was pretty cool! That was. I'm still not sure about that animation style. That animation style is still a little bit lower budget than it used to be. Like when they did Superman Doomsday, for example. Which actually wasn't bad. But I, I like it. It's about the storytelling more than anything. And it's certainly better than some sequences in Batman Ninja. <laughs> which I will have a review up soon. I did like Batman Ninja a lot. But there are a couple of sequences where they choose a different animation style. Which is a bit rubbish. <laughs> To be honest. I do enjoy that. I do enjoy the original comic and I'm interested that they've actually gone with the new 52 DC animated Justice League universe um, which sort of began with Crisis on Two Earths I think or the Flashpoint Paradox and then led into several other new 52 Justice Leagues like Teen Titans vs Justice League, Justice League Doom and a few others. I think they change voice actors like every single movie. I'm not sure he's doing the voice of Superman this time. I'll look up and put under the screen afterwards. It didn't sound like Jim Daly or one of the classic Superman animated or Justice League animated guys. But definitely the rest of them were the new 52 cast as introduced in Justice League War. That's the one I could remember where they took on Darkseid. But it's interesting that they've actually gone for this style. They've not gone for sort of the classic Superman adaptation and actually made it part of their continual Justice League animated universe inspired by the New 52. I, I'm happy for that. A bit of continuity amongst these movies is quite cool. Especially with stuff like Gotham by Gaslight coming along and messing things up. And I enjoy those. I really do. I didn't enjoy Batman vs Harley Quinn or Harley Quinn and Batman and or, or Batman and Harley Quinn and Nightwing getting it on, whatever. <laughs> I didn't enjoy that. You can check out my review at the end of this video. I forget to put it above my head right here. Wasn't that great? Wasn't that great? Did enjoy Suicide Squad How to Pay though. Might have reviews of these. I might have a review of Batman Ninja, as I said. I might have a review of Scooby Doo meets Batman the Brave and the Bold, which I actually really enjoyed, apart from the Scooby Doo parts. <laughs> but what did you think of this trailer? And are you excited about Death of Superman? 
let us know in the comments below and I'll try my best to respond. Of course, subscribe to DC Comics Gamer for everything on the world of DC, including Gotham, Krypton. If you like Superman, you should really be watching Krypton because it is really cool right now and I'm doing reactions to all of them. Gotham is really hitting its stride as it launches towards its season finale next week. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to have to play games all summer. Stay tuned for more on DC Comics Gamer and keep subscribed if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Multiverse, out.